so good morning everyone so today we are going to study module number 5 lecture number 38 evaluation of goals at different levels so in the beginning of this course we had detailed the goals at different levels so if you have remember we started this course detailing the goals at different level goals at the level of individual goals at the level of family goals at the level of society goals at the level of nature so all these goals we studied in the early lecture and here we would recall all those goals briefly and then success of the system will be evaluated on the basis of fulfillment of these goals and today in this lecture we are basically going to evaluate the present scenario of the system on the basis of those desired goals and then we will see whether we are going presently in the right direction or not so at the beginning of this course we started with the fulfilling life so you must have remember that what is the fulfilling life then we see that every one of us has this basic aspiration and we want to live with right understanding in the self fulfillment in the relationship with love and compassion ensuring more than the required physical facility with the feeling of prosperity so all these goals we want to fulfill in our life so keeping these goals in the mind now we will have a brief view about those goals then we will study how can we evaluate present scenario of the society keeping these goals at the center so we started with this human goal so at the level of individual right understanding and right feeling at the level of prosperity uh, at the level of family the feeling of prosperity at the level of society fearlessness and at the level of nature coexistence in nature that we studied in previous lectures in the starting of this course so keeping this comprehensive human goals then we studied individual goal goal at the level of family society nature so at that level of individual we identified that at the level of self we need right understanding and right thought in the body we need health along with this we should have this competence for right utilization and preservation of self body and physical facility then ability to live in community with right behavior ability to live in nature with right work so all these goals we discussed in lect previous lecture starting of this course you may go back and you may see those videos where we discuss all these goals then we discussed goals at the level of family where we studied we identified that our goal as a family is recognizing relationships ensuring and fulfilling the expected feelings recognizing needs for physical facility is projection right utilizations ability to look after the generation all these goals we studied in starting of the course then we studied goals at the level of society fulfillment in relationship with relatives friends and those who come in contact at least with the feeling of trust fulfillment of collective responsibilities those responsibility that are required to for the societal systems to work smoothly and effectively development of conducive social environment so that the family can feel assured and be able to participate joyously ensuring this relationship of mutual fulfillment among all development of a humanistic constitution policies etc and at the level of nature we studied ensuring mutual fulfillment with every unit of this nature ensuring cyclic process and mutually enriching production process so all these goals we already have studied in starting of this course i have just briefly recalled all these goals and if you see the problems at the at present most of the problem is because we are not fulfilling those goals 
so we can say that absence of fulfillment of those goals we are facing many problems at the level of individual family society in fact at the level of nature so these goals discussed earlier can be fulfilled by right relationship among human being expressed through right behavior in the society proper implementation of the societal order so now with this background we will study we will evaluate all the present state of the society whether we are able to ensure these goals desired goals or not so we can we may do this evaluation in two ways evaluate at each of these four levels individual family society nature and evaluate each of the dimensions that eight dimensions that we studied during this course so we may do this evaluation at these four levels individual family society nature so if we evaluate at the level of individual you can ask yourself are we able to ensure the right understanding right feeling and right thought in the self if yes then up to what extent on this basis we can evaluate the present state of the society so this is at the level of individual so what was the goal at the level of individual for a fulfilling life the goal was to ensure right understanding right feeling and right thought at the level of self but now you evaluate are we able to ensure this are we able to ensure health of the body individuals students who are coming out from this education systems are they able to ensure their health at the level of body are we able to develop the competence for the right utilization and preservation of mind body and physical facility if yes then you may make a scale of 10 points and you can give marks out of 10 what mark should i get how much i am able to ensure of these goals <coughs> are we able to develop the ability to live in a community with right behavior so what do you think people coming out from this education system or most of the people living in this society have the ability to live in a community with right behavior with right behavior ensuring mutual happiness are we able to develop the ability to live in a nature the right work ensuring mutual prosperity are we able to develop the mindset of participation in larger order at least in the family order so we can evaluate all those goals so you ask these questions give marks whether we are able to fulfill those goals or not similarly we can evaluate dimension of education so previously i helped you to evaluate this evaluation at the level of individual similarly you can do evaluation at the level of family society nature so we already studied goals desired goals at the level of family society nature and you can do same kind of evaluation as we did at the level of individual so now we can evaluate those dimensions so if we see the dimension of education so very broadly indicators for the fulfillment of goals of education dimensions can be how many persons are able to reach the state of right understanding right feeling and right thought so this could be the indicators of the dimension of education so we can evaluate our education system on the basis of these indicators <coughs> so having the right understanding right feeling and right thought are we achieving this do we have the clarity of human goals do have competence to fulfill the requirement of right understanding relationship and physical facility 
so indicators will not be in terms of whether we are able to get a job salary etc today's anyhow this has become an indi indicators of a education system so today we are evaluating a education system on the basis of how many people are able to get job how many people are able to compete others etc so these are the indicators on the basis of which this dimension of education should be evaluated so education is a dimension that connects to every other dimensions so we studied all eight dimensions and this dimension of education connects each dimensions that's why evaluation of the dimension of education is very important it is must to have a right evaluation of our education system and we are proposing these parameters to evaluate the education dimension dimension of education so you can also think of this whether these indicators are right or not should we have indicators like this or not that we you have to explore similarly we can have certain indicators for evaluation of dimensions of health for example how many people remain healthy and for how long time if someone falls sick if someone falls sick how fast he is able to recover what is average life survival period what is the average period over which people remain healthy how good is the lifestyle of the people whether medical facilities available to everyone if needed how good is the recovery from illness at the family level we cannot have indicators like this how many hospitals do we have how many medical stores do we have we cannot have such kind of indicators so as for as the health is concerned to evaluate the dimension of health these are the proposed indicators if we are moving towards these indicators it means peoples are becoming healthy in the society if there are increasing number of hospitals what do you think this is a indicator of health or this is a indicator of increasing diseases if we have to establish medical store in every near every locality what does it mean it means we are becoming healthy or it is an indicator of people getting diseased day by day so basically all these indicators shows that diseases are dominating the society diseases are spreading over the society fastly so these are the right indicators which we are proposing to evaluate the dimension of health now you can take pause and you ask yourself whether this indicator should be there or not these indicators will give us the real picture of health or these indicators will give us the real picture of the health of the society so you can explore within yourself similarly evaluation of the dimension of justice how many people are able to ensure mutual fulfillment in relationship how many people a person feels related to how many people come to help other people when they are in need is there environment of trust fearlessness in the society do people offer food and shelter to the strangers number of cold cases getting reduced or not so these are the proposed indicators from our side if these are we are getting close to these indicators it means justice is being ensured in the society we cannot have indicators like this having more number of courts and that judges more number of cases being disposed and a faster speed availability of police forces to enforce justice etc if these things are increasing it means injustice is increasing in the society if we are closer to this these indicators if we are passing these indicators it means justice is being spread in the society so again you can take pause and ask yourself explore in yourself these indicators are good to evaluate this dimension of justice or these indicators are good 
to evaluate the dimension of justice you can ask yourself. <coughs> Similarly, indicators dimension of protection we can also think of the indicators to evaluate the dimension of protection. So, what would be that indicators to evaluate this dimension of protection are we able to ensure protection of all physical facilities that are actually required for the society. Is every family engaged in some meaningful protection? Is every family able to identify its physical needs? Is every family able to feel the prosperity? Are we able to ensure mutual enrichment with rest of nature? Do people have willingness and competence to produce? Is there work for everybody and is their family assured of the basic needs or not? So, all these are indicators for the dimension of production. We cannot have the indicators like higher and higher level of consumption without having identified the real need, having more and more production even the production process are not cyclic, producing more with a view of profit maximization all these things are happening today. If we are going in this direction, are we really producing the things according to natural laws? So, we have to think these products, these indicators are going to work to evaluate the production of dimension or these indicators will work to produce the dimension of production. So, this we have to explore in ourselves. Similarly, <coughs> evaluation of system. So, whether different dimensions of the system are running smoothly or not, this could be one of the indicators to evaluate the system, dimension of system. Are they running in a harmonious and coordinated man manner among themselves? So, all those four eight dimensions that we studied during this course, are they working in harmony or not? This could be one of the indicators of at the level of system. Whether different dimensions of the system are running in a self motivated self organized manner or not. So, these are the indicators through which we can evaluate our th this dimension of system. We cannot have the indicators like this bigger and bigger structure of central administration, more and more enforcement through strict laws and etcetera. So, again these are proposed indicators from our side to evaluate the dimension of system whether the system is working fine or not. So, you explore it and ask yourself are these indicators going to work to evaluate the dimension of system or not. <coughs> so, thank you students this, that is all from my side if we follow all these indicators definitely it will take us towards the harmonious society that we are trying to visualize. So, these all these indicators that are proposed here will give a real picture of the current state of the society. So, I hope you have understood all these indicators. You can do little exercise regarding these indicators. You make a column of these indicators and evaluate the current system how much we are able to ensure this harmonious society keeping these indicators at the center. So, thank you very much have a nice day.